Hello. Hello. So today my speech will be about Child Protective Services, or CPS. Having a loving and stable home is wanted by all, but not all have that. Some children grow up in homes that are not safe for them and enable them to be the best they can be. Abuse and neglect in many different forms can be happening inside the household that children need to escape. This is where Child Protective Services get involved. Child Protective Services is an essential asset in helping keeping children safe in the United States. Even if CPS is not or has not been involved in your life, it is still important to know what they do. First, I will be discussing the process of CPS and what the purpose and goal is. Second, I will be addressing the people who struggle with CPS. Lastly, I'll be showing you ways how you can contact CPS in California if the unfortunate circumstances arise. What is CPS? CPS is Child Protective Services, and the goal of CPS is to keep children safe and out of harm's way as much as possible. What is um, signs of child abuse and neglect? This is physical, sexual, and emotional abuse, including general or severe neglect and exploitation. According to loa.ca.gov, in January 1993, research suggests that risk factors for children, abuse, neglect, include poverty, unemployment, alcohol, drug abuse, history of child abuse, neglect, or violence in the family, limited to support system, such as family and friends, low self-esteem, and poor health of parent. If a child seems like they need to be taken out of their home, they will be taken to a foster home. My nieces were removed by their homes by CPS, but instead of going to a foster home, they were taken in by their grandparents. This may be the same for others to go to relatives instead of foster care. According to Social Worker Degree Center on November 18, 2003, since the agency believes that the best place for a child to grow up is in the safe and permanent home, they first work to cancel the child's birth family. When this is not possible, however, then they must find an adoptive family that will provide a safe and permanent home. The goal is to keep the family together, but that is not always possible. What happens next? Once the children are placed into different homes, CPS does not just forget about them and move on. According to the Department of Social Services, approximately 12 months of services are provided to the children who remain safely in the home while family service family receives services. When CPS is called, there will be an investigation and aftermath. The investigation will determine whether or not the child will be removed from the home. Fine law explains it as interviews is the first. The caseworker will either call or visit your home to interview you, the alleged predator, the child, or other members of the family or household. While the caseworker may want to interview your child alone, they are usually required to record the interview. Then is examinations. The caseworker may request medical or psychological examinations of your child to determine if abuse or neglect has occurred. Then explanations. Within a reasonable time, usually 24 hours after the interviews, the caseworker will explain to you the allegations against you or another family member and allow you to explain the circumstances of injuries or safety concerns. I will now be explaining the opposition and frustration that CPS can have an effect of the family. Calling CPS because you think a child is in danger is a huge action to take and could possibly save a child's life. On the other hand, it can also lead to very uncomfortable and weird situations if the call did not need to be made. Diane Redleaf, co-chair of United Family Advocates, wrote an article on January 27, 2019, about different unfortunate occurrences with CPS. In one of them, she said, posted to the Atlantic, according to a 2016 report, 7.4 million children came to the attention of child abuse hotlines in a single year. In Illinois last fiscal year, 
77,422 families were investigated, but only 20,023 complaints were sustained. And for the families subjected to the unfound complaints, the harms can be very real. This unfortunately can cause problems or more problems in the home as CPS is called, but the case is dismissed. Not all calls to Child Protective Services are going to pass through the interview and aftermath in a child being removed from their home, but it is more safe and sorry to contact CPS if you genuinely think something wrong is happening. These are the steps that you can take if this situation arises. First, you can call the police. And here is the Santa Clara County phone numbers. Call police or California County emergency response of a child abuse telephone numbers. And this is in North, South, and Central Santa Clara County. And there are some jobs that are required by law to speak up if they are told that the suspected child is abused. According to sjpd.org, under the topic of reporting child abuse, the jobs that must speak up are child care custodians, school daycare athletic coach, public or private day camp, health practitioners, employees of child protective agencies, commercial computer technicians, film and photographic print processors, child visitation monitors, peace officers, probation and parole officers, custodial officers and defined by PC 831.5, firefighters, animal control officers, humane society officers, clergy, excluding confession or is equivalent. The report must be made as soon as possible. And if you want to learn more, you can go to cdss.ca.gov, type in Department of Social Services. It says how to contact CBS, why you should, when you should and other information. And if you have an interest in careers in Child Protective Services, they also have that link. And other links are www.safestate.org, local child abuse council, 1-800-4-A-CHILD, Center for Child Protection, 1-408-885-6460. Now I have informed you of how to learn more and contact CPS if the unfortunate circumstances arrive. I will conclude now. Today I discussed the process of CPS and what the purpose and goal is. Then I addressed the opposing arguments for CPS. Lastly, I showed ways how you can contact CPS if the unfortunate circumstances arise. It is always terrible and heartbreaking when a child is being taken from their home. It is painful and life-changing action, but sometimes it has to be done to protect the child. Be aware of your surroundings and treat people with kindness. You never know what's going on in someone else's home. Thank you. Okay, where is it? I'm confused now. Uh, I can't find the meeting. It was very good. Oh, I found the meeting. Uh,